Hi everybody, today we're gonna read Curious George Visits the Library by Margaret and H.A. Rise. Curious George Visits the Library. What do you guys see on the cover of this book? I see a monkey here. I see a man here and a lady here. And I see a cart over here. And I see that there are whole, there's books on the cart. I see that there's, there's different kinds of books on the cart. So it says, Curious George visits a library. So I think there's books on the cart because this might be a library. Have you guys been to the library? What books do you guys get at the library? So let's read and find out what are we going to learn about the library. Let's see. Curious George visits the library. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, were at the library. So this is Curious George. This is George. And he's very curious. When you're curious, it means you want to know, you want to know more. You want to know about different types of things. You want to learn and know more information about different types of things. And so this is George and this is his friend dressed in yellow and here it says public library so it is he they're visiting the public library and here's a story time today 11 a.m so maybe they're at the they are going to the library so they can listen to a story being read to them and it says that uh so george is going to the library with his friend here it says it's, it tells us that story time is going to happen today. So maybe George wants to go to the library so he can hear a story. Maybe George wants to go to the library so he wants to take out books. Maybe he wants to learn more about something he likes. Maybe he likes cars and maybe he wants to learn more about cars or read stories about, about cars. And then here is a lady and maybe... This person over here is holding books, I see. And a little girl, maybe that's the girl's dad. And look, she took books out of the library. So let's see what George does. George had never been to the library before. He had never seen so many books be before either. Everywhere he looked, people were reading. Some people read quietly to themselves. But in the children's room, the librarian was reading out loud. So look, this is George's first time at the library. George has never been to the library before. So George has never been to the library before. So this is George's first time. So he sees so many books in the library. There's many, many, many books. There's different types of books that you could choose from. So, and everyone, people were reading. So when you go to the library, you go there to sit, to do your work, to read. And it's very quiet. You're not supposed to yell. You're not supposed to scream in the library. You're supposed to be very, very quiet. So in the library, it's a good place to get work done or to read because there's no distraction. There's nothing bothering you because everyone is so quiet and everyone is doing their work. So here, look, George sees people over here reading books. This, the, the, over here at the tables are reading books. This guy is reading a newspaper. So here's, here is children's room. So it says story hour at 11. So here's the children's room. So in the children's room, the librarian. A librarian is the person who works at the library. 
So the, the, libra the librarian is reading out loud to the kids because some of the kids might not know how to read yet and it's story time so the librarian is reading out loud. So she's reading to the kids and the kids are listening quietly to the story that's being read. So over on this section of the library, everyone's reading to themselves. But here in the children's section, the librarian is reading to the students. And there's, and there's so many different books here. And look, there's even books in the children's room. So let's see what happens next. Does, let's see, maybe George is going to join the kids as, they're get, as the librarian's reading. Let's see. It was story hour. George loved stories. He sat down with a group of children to listen. The librarian was reading a book about a bunny. George liked bunnies. Behind the library was a book about a dinosaur. George liked dinosaurs even more. He hoped she would read it next. But next, the librarian read a book about a train. George tried to sit quietly and wait for the dinosaur book to be read. But sometimes it is hard for a little monkey to be patient. So look, so over here, so over here, Look, this is the librarian over here who's sitting in the chair. This is the librarian. So she works in the library. So here are the kids that, are, that she's reading to. And then George joins the kids. So George wants to listen to the story too. So he's joining the kids. And the librarian is reading a book about monkeys. And George is reading a book about bunnies. And George likes bunnies. So he likes to listen to stories about bunnies but also George sees a book about dinosaurs and George likes to hear books about dinosaurs and and George is hoping the librarian's gonna read the book next but does she read it no she doesn't the librarian reads a book about trains and George likes trains, but he likes dinosaurs even more. So he's waiting and waiting and waiting until the, the librarian reads the book about dinosaurs. But look, it's a little hard. He really wants to read that book about dinosaurs. So let's see what George does next. Let's see. I wonder, is George going to sit there and wait patiently? Is George going to get up and try and find the book and read it by himself? Let's see what George does. What do you think George will do next? When the librarian started a story about Jungle Books, George could not wait any longer. He had to see the dinosaur book. He tiptoed closer. Look, a monkey shouted a girl. The librarian put her finger to her lips. We must be quiet so everyone can hear, she said nicely. But there's a monkey, said a boy. The librarian nodded and smile mm, she agreed when she finished reading the jungle book the librarian reached for the dinosaur book where did it go and where was george so look so now the librarian is reading a book about jungle animals so here the librarian is reading a book about jungle animals so George, is he sitting with his friends? Is he sitting with other kids? No, George is not sitting with, with the other friends. George is on a table. Should George be on a table? No, George should not be on a table. It's not safe to climb on tables. We should never climb on tables. But George is on a table because what is he trying to get? He's trying to get the book about a dinosaur. So... As the librarian is reading, the kids could see the monkey. And the kids are saying, look, there's a monkey. And the librarian saying, where? Where did the monkey go? And then she, when the librarian finishes reading the book about the monkey, she reaches over to get the next book. So she's done reading, with, she's done reading the bunny book. She's done reading the train book. 
she's done reading the book about jungle animals so next is the dinosaur book but the librarian turns around and she can't find the she can't find the dinosaur book it's gone who took it where did the dinosaur book go i see george over here i think maybe george took it what do you guys think do you think george took the book i think maybe george took the book what do you guys think I think George might have took the book. Let's let's see if George took the book and let's see where George is taking the book. Where is George gonna go? Let's see. George was all ready to take the dinosaur book home and read it with his friend when another book caught his eye. This book was about trucks. George wanted to take it home too. And here was a book about elephants. George loved elephants. He added it to his pile. So look, George took the book about dinosaurs. So George took the book. So George took the book about dinosaurs and now he's, he's walking through the library. And George, and George sees more books. So George is seeing more and more books and George is getting excited. And George is seeing books that he likes to read. So, so George finds a book about trucks. So George finds a book about trucks. So George likes trucks. So George is taking a book about trucks. And then he, as he's walking, he saw another book. He's seeing a book about elephants. So George likes to read about elephants too. So he, he has a dinosaur book now. He has a book about trucks. He has a book about elephants. So he has so many books now. I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder, when you go to the library, what do you need to get out books from the library? A library card. You need to have a library card when you want to take out books out from the library. Does George have a library card? I wonder if George has a library card. If he doesn't have a library card, can he take the books home? No, he needs a library card. So I wonder what George is going to do. Is he going to ask a librarian for help or is he just going to take the books? Let's see. George found so many good books. He soon had more than he could carry. He leaned against the shelf to rest. Squeak when the shelf, shh, said a man. Squeak when the shelf again, and it moved. Why it wasn't really a shelf after all. George found a special cart for carrying books. What luck. Now George could carry all the books he wanted. He rolled the cart between the shelves and stacked up books about boats and kits and baking cakes. He climbed higher to reach books about cranes and planes. So look, George has, I see he has one, two, three, four. He's carrying four books. He's holding four books and he's leaning against this cart. He thinks it's a shelf at first, but then it's moving. And this guy is saying, shh, because George is making noise. And the guy is trying to read his book. So then George leaves from there because it's not a, a shelf and he can lean against it. It's a cart and he moves, it has wheels. So then George takes the cart. So George takes the cart and adds even more books. Look how many books he has. He has so many books on his cart. So George is climbing. He's getting as many books as he can find. And he's putting all the books onto the cart. So he has books about boats, baking cakes, and about cranes and planes. He has so many books and he's climbing higher and higher and higher to get all the books that he wants to read. I wonder what George is going to do with all the books. Is he going to take all those books home? I wonder what George is going to do. And I wonder where George's friend is. Is he going to come back? to get George from the library. Let's see. At last, 
As George had all the books he could handle, he couldn't wait to head home and start reading. And right in, the, in front of him was a ramp leading to the door. George was curious. Could he roll the cart all the way home? Down the ramp, George ran. The cart rolled faster and faster. Stop! A, li a library volunteer shouted, come back here with my car. But George was too excited to listen. The car was picking up speed and George was having fun. So let's so look. So here is the cart with books in it. Here's the cart with books in it. And look how many books George has in the cart. He has so many books he has so many books in the cart so george wants to take the books home he wants to take the he wants to take the books home with him but and here's the door but in order for george to get to the door there's a ramp there's a ramp so he has to go down the ramp and he has to roll the cart so he's going now he's going down the ramp he's going down the ramp and it's going, and he's going so fast. He's going so, so fast down the ramp. And look, he's going faster and faster and faster and faster. He's going, he's going so fast down the ramp. He's going so fast. And look how fast he's going down the ramp. He's going so fast. And this is someone who is volunteering at the library, someone who's helping. And he's saying, come back, come back with the card and the books. But is George coming back? No, George can't stop. The, the cart is going so fast that George can't stop. So I wonder what George is going to do. I wonder where George is going to go with all those, all those books. Is he going to take them home? And I wonder what his friend is going to say when he sees all these books. Let's see. I wonder if George is going to have to return them to the library. Because George didn't use his library card to take out the books. Let's see. Until crash, George and the cart ran smack into a shelf of encyclopedias. Books flew up in the air and so did George. He landed in a big pile between O and P. So look, as George was going faster and faster and faster, he smashed right into a, a shelf. So he, went, he smashed right into a shelf. And the books flew up in the air. Books flew everywhere. So books are going everywhere. And George is flying off the cart. So, and everyone's running now to see what's happening, to go help. And books are going, are flying all over the place. So let's see, let's see what happens next. What's gonna happen? Do you think the people at the library are gonna help George? Are they gonna tell him not to come to the library again? I wonder what they're gonna tell I wonder what they're gonna tell George next. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the librarian does. Let's see. Oh no, mowed the volunteer when he saw the mess George had made. How am I going to put away all these books? I like to borrow this one, said a boy from Story Art, and I like to take this one to the girl. With help from George and the children, the books were sort sorted in no time. Soon there was just a small pile of George's favorite left. So look. So George smashed into the cart, into the shelf, and now there's a mess. There's books everywhere there's a huge huge mess of books everywhere there's books on the floor there's books everywhere so look at this big big mess and the librarian the person who's helping in the library he's like oh no how am i going to put all the books back in their right place it's such a big mess what am i supposed to do look he doesn't know what to do so the the kids over here they're saying, I want this book, I want this book, I want that book. So they're all looking through the books. Some of the kids want some of the books that they see on the ground. They, they're going to take some of the books. 
and now they're helping they're all helping look they're all they're all working together as a team and they're all helping they're all helping the library put the books back where they belong so they're helping out and look everyone's putting a book back on the shelf so now the mess is gone so let's see what happens next i wonder if maybe the librarian's gonna give george a few books that he likes or if the librarian's gonna help george or are they gonna be mad at george and not let him back i wonder what's gonna happen next i wonder what george is gonna do Would you like to take those books home with you? The volunteer asked George. Then he took George to his special desk and helped him get his very own library card. George was holding his brand new card with his, when, his, when his friend arrived with a stack of books of his own. They are George, he said. I see you, I see you are all ready to check out. George and his friend gave their books to the librarian. She smiled when she saw George's pile. It was wondering where this dinosaur book went, she said. This one, that's, it's one of my favorites too. The librarian stamped the books and handed them to George. So look, so now they're done putting all the books away. So the, libra so the librarian asks George, would you like to take those books home with you? So she's asking, do you want to take those books home with you? And th so George says, yeah. So George wants to take all those books home with him. So what is, a what is the librarian giving George? What is, what is the librarian giving George? What is that? That's a library card. So the librarian is giving George a library card so this is this is going to be george's library card so and then took george to his special desk and help him get his own library card so he's he's getting his own library card he's getting george is getting his own library card so then so then when his this friend came he george is showing his friend the library card that he's had that he has so look george is showing his friend the library card that he has and so he's saying i see you're ready to get to check some books out so look and the librarian is happy that george is taking out books and look george is taking out so many books look at his pile look how big his pile is so the librarian stabs the back of the book and that's, and that's how you know when to return your book. When you look at the date the library gives you. So sometimes you have two or three weeks to read the book until you have to return it again. So let's see what happens next. I wonder, is George going to take all those books home and begin reading them? I wonder what's going to happen next. With his books under one arm, George waved goodbye to, volu to the volunteer, the library, and the children from Story Hour. Come, see us again, George, the librarian said, waving back. Enjoy your books. So look. So George got the books that he wanted. He got the library card. He got the books that he wanted. Look, he's holding the books with his friend. So... And, and they're telling him, the people at the library, telling him, come back, we, we're gonna miss you, come back. We want you to come back. So now George is waving goodbye. Uh, and look, the librarian is waving goodbye and the children are waving goodbye to George as well. So, so and, they're, and the librarian says that he hopes he enjoys the books. So hopefully George enjoys the book that he got from the library and returns them back. So it's important to read your books and return them back to the library when you are done. So let's see what happens next. I wonder if George is gonna return the books or 
if he's gonna start reading. Let's see. I wonder what happens. And he did the end. So look, George is enjoying the books that are being read, the book that's being read to him. He's reading a book about dinosaurs. So remember in the beginning of the book, that was the book he wanted the he wanted the, the librarian to read, but she didn't read. So now he took the book from the library and he and his friend is reading the dinosaur book to George. The book is reading the dinosaur book to George. So now look, George has a big smile on, your, on his face and he's listening to his friend read the book to him. The end.